hey guys it's your girl tropical leah and i'm back with another video i'm just kidding it's my first so today i'm going to be installing this honey blonde wig it's from ali pearl and let me tell you i'm in love with this hair the quality is amazing as you can see in the beginning i was looking at the space and this wig has a lot of space a lot of wigs tend to not have a lot of space you know even when it's 13 by 6 like where is your space come on but yeah anyway so right now i'm just hot combing the wig you know you gotta get it flat and sleek you know for the natural look okay so i didn't bleach this wig so right here you can see me putting on the fenty beauty foundation that i use for my skin um i decided to use it on my bald cap and the wig because it matches my skin really well so yeah i'm just doing that here you know i was like dang it looks bleached yes but anyways yeah Okay, so here I'm applying my glue. I'm using the Ghost Bond glue. I actually want to try a couple new ones, so drop some glues in the comments that you think is really good. I'm going to do three layers because I want this to last for at least two weeks. Okay, so now we're just patiently waiting for this to dry. Um, this process would be a little faster if I had a blow dryer, but you know, your girl don't got a blow dryer, so I got to go get one. Okay, so I gotta make sure all the layers are perfectly clear before I add a second one because it will not stick. So don't make that mistake and add a second layer before the glue dries for the first layer because it will not stick. I'm telling you right now, it will not stick. <laughs> okay, and this hair also came with a hair maintenance pamphlet. You know, on how to keep your hair good and lasting long. And I'm using that as my blow dryer. Okay, so now I'm just pressing the lace into the glue, you know, combing it in so it can stick or whatever. So yeah, it's looking good. The color is definitely matching like I thought it would. Okay, and here I was gonna apply the wig band that came with the hair, and I was showing you one that I got from the hair store, but I forgot I didn't put my, you know, wig holding spray. So this is the Even Spray. And yes, it definitely has a great hold. One thing about a wig band, I hate putting my ears in it, but yeah, be so tight, I can't breathe, almost have a headache passing out, like it's just crazy. Okay, and here I made a detox with water, lemon, and ray immunity. Make sure you use my code at Donuttle, Cali20, you already know, 20% off. Okay, and here I'm just combing the hairs that's a little bit stuck with the spree spray, you know, just making them straight. And right here, I'm just cutting the lace. I cut them in sections because sometimes, you know, you don't want to cut too much and then cut it uneven and stuff. So, yeah, I just cut it in sections. It's more efficient. Okay, and don't mind my faces. I definitely hate that tool because I'm always cutting my skin. Later on in the video, you can see a little bit of blood, you know. Yeah, cut my face. I hate that tool. It's just no way. Like, you can see the blood right there. I'm just like, it's just too sharp. So I might, you know, use scissors. I've been seeing people using the scissors that have, um, like, spirals in it so it can cut a spiral shape. And I'm definitely going to get that because that's awesome. That's way better because, you know, you don't never want to cut your lace straight because you want it to melt. It's more melted with a jagged edge, like, you know, like rips at the end or frayed. Okay, so here I'm just applying more Fenty Beauty Foundation. You already know that Fenty. So it can, you know, match my skin color just a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm just combing the hair. It's looking very late already. Tell me it's not, because it really is. So now I'm just using the hot comb again just to get it a little more laid. The hot comb is definitely a necessity when laying your lace. You need it. You definitely need it. Okay, so now I'm just trying to figure out where I want my part. 
So yeah, you know, I'm just combing through, figuring out what looks the best, if it looks higher or lower. And I found where I'm gonna put my part. So now I'm using my She Is Bum wax stick. And that's gonna lay the hair really well. Um, it actually puts a little weight on the hair so it stays down. And, you know, I just go over with the hot comb and look at that, it's staying down, like look at it. Um, sometimes I used to use free spray, but I noticed like, it messes up the quality of the hair. So like, I really don't wanna mess up this quality of the hair cause it's so soft. So yeah, I just want to keep this smooth, so I'm just going to use a little bit of wax stick. Try not to use too much, because it can make your hair oily, and try not to use it on the ends that much. And yes, this part right here, always comb it up with a hot comb. It makes it look realistic. Look, look how realistic it's about to get, okay? Look at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out some edges. Um, I'm only gonna do a little bit, so I don't want that much. And I'm only doing the sides, cause I don't want any edges in the middle. I just want it to, you know, look laid, classy, elegant, you know, yeah. So that's what we're going for, and I'm gonna twist them just so they could be out the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply my even holding spray between the edges, and then I'm gonna put my wig band on just to lay the edges down. And then we're gonna wait till it dries, and then we're gonna cut the edges. Okay, so here I was getting a little nervous because I wanted to layer my hair. I've been seeing it all over Instagram. It's been looking cute or whatever, that layered look. So I wanted to try it, but I was like, I never tried this before. So should I really cut it? Because, you know, the length is pretty nice. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. I was just like, I don't even know. Should I cut it? It's too late to go back now. You never know if you can do something if you don't try. So I just had to try it. Okay, so the camera died so that's why i moved or whatever but yeah it came out good i definitely killed the cut okay i did that look at that curl it's giving marilyn monroe with some melanin but yes um i'm just gonna hot comb the edges so they can stay more down and look at the edges like the free spray really makes a difference with how the edges hold up but yeah, the hot comb is really, really it. The best tool, that, that'd be the best tool, except all the burns, you know, you get on your skin or whatever, but yeah, the best tool. I was definitely smiling because I was like, I really did that cut. Like, my first time, I really did it. So I was just like, yes, girl, you look cute or whatever. So, yeah, I did that cut. Can you believe I layered it like that? Like, come on. I'm just going to cut the edges off. You don't want them too long unless you want a fluffy look. Um, I actually never tried that, but I'm just waiting to get that thin flat iron. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a small, it's like a baby flat iron. You know that i've been seeing girls do their edges with and i really want to try that fluffy look but i haven't tried it yet so i just gotta practice or whatever okay so now i'm laying the edges i use even spray on my edge brush and then i use the black got to be glued styling gel so yeah that definitely helps the got to be glue styling gel um sometimes it does flake so you don't want to you know put too much because it's going to be like white stuff all around your hair and you don't want that so just put a little bit and a little bit of spray and it will it will hold it really will hold or you can use a holding mousse now i'm just spraying a little bit of even so i don't damage the hair so i can hold that piece back because i want it to be behind my ear but you know it's not gonna stay so you know i just gotta put a little spray and now i'm just using my wand curler thank you mommy for my wand curler okay so look at the volume and body i actually didn't finish curling on camera 
So what I did was I used my phone just to show the end result and I combed it out. Okay, I'm combing my hair out because I want a more fluffy look, voluminous. This is 200% density, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Okay, guys, and this is the end result. Thank you for watching me install a blonde wig for the first time. This is my first time trying Honey Blonde, and I'm loving it. Allie Pearl, you did the thing. You did it. You did that. <laughs>